Red Light Therapy is taking the health community by storm. All the positive reviews and life-changing experiences continue to spread around social media. But it all sounds too good to be true, right? So what's the deal? Is red light therapy beneficial or does it belong in the woo-woo health category? Well, I'm gonna dive deep into the research and find out. Oh, and be sure to stay to the end because I reveal a big experiment contrasting the use of red light therapy without it and the results are quite startling. Okay, so first up, what is red light therapy? Red light therapy is also known as photobiomodulation or low level laser therapy. It is the act of using light in the red or near infrared spectrum to achieve a positive effect on the body. Red light therapy may involve using a laser on a very small targeted area or a full LED array covering the whole body in therapeutic red light. And how does it all work? Well, what's interesting about the red and near infrared wavelengths is that it penetrates rather deeply into the body's tissue. And this light energy is absorbed by the body cells, in turn helping with ATP generation, enhancing oxygen utilization, and stimulating cell activity. Let's start with the big one. Red light therapy decreases pain, lowers inflammation, and helps with arthritis. This is one of the most commonly promoted benefits of red light therapy. But is it true? Well, a 2013 peer-reviewed study published in Arthritis Research and Therapy Journal, concluded a single application of light therapy produced significant reductions in inflammatory markers 24 hours after the treatment. The researchers also stated that red light therapy could be used as a treatment for osteoarthritis. Not only did red light therapy have anti-inflammatory properties, it also helped lower pain levels. Now, this particular paper was authored by Dr. Michael Hamblin. He's considered to be one of the top researchers in the field and has published dozens of papers on red light therapy. Another claimed benefit is the improvement of general health, cardiovascular health, and helping with other modern diseases. So is this all true? Well, we do know that a lot of these issues are associated with high inflammatory levels. So if red light therapy is helping to lower inflammation, then of course it's going to have a beneficial effect on these health issues. But one of the most common questions I get around red light therapy is whether it's going to help with skin, beauty, and anti-aging. Because yes, there are some rather bold claims out there on the web. So what's going on here? Does red light therapy help skin tone, improve collagen production, reduce fine lines, blemishes, and acne? Is it legit or not? Let's take a look. Well, actually it does. And this is why we're seeing an explosion of red light therapy products in the beauty space. Not only does red light therapy help with all of these things I just mentioned, but it has no side effects and it's rather cost effective. And if you want the proof, here it is. Researchers have shown that red light therapy helps increase blood flow to the skin, providing more nourishment to the skin tissue and also achieving a more radiant look. Researchers have shown that red light therapy reduces acne and the inflammation associated with acne, and it will also help speed up scarring from acne outbreak. Now, a paper in the Journal of Photomedicine and Laser Surgery reports that red light therapy improves the collagen density of the skin, leading to tighter and smoother skin with less wrinkles. And there's plenty of documented studies to show that red light therapy helps with rosacea, eczema and cesaris. So this probably explains why you see so many ads for red light therapy beauty products on Instagram and Facebook. Hey, quick heads up. I do wanna mention that if you wanna take a truly deep dive into the science and the benefits of red light therapy, I do have a blog article on this topic. It's titled The 36 Benefits of Red Light Therapy Supported by Science. I'll put a link to it below because that article does go into a much more detail than I can do in this video. And also while you're down there, can you hit the like and the subscribe button? A lot of time and resources go into researching and producing these videos. And a quick touch of that subscribe button helps me get out of bed and keep making more content like this. All right, so what about the claim benefits around wound healing, scarring, and muscle recovery? Well, we do know that red light therapy helps with circulation and getting blood to the skin. We also know it lowers inflammation and that it boosts collagen formation. And after looking at the research, I can say that yes, these claimed benefits are correct. The 2012 paper in the Journal of Lasers in Medical Science found that red light therapy not only helps with scar elimination, but also helps prevent excessive scarring in the first place. And there's multiple studies showing that red light therapy helps with torn muscles and torn ligaments. A 2014 study literally concluded that red light therapy stimulated collagen proliferation, improving the injured tendon's healing process. So you can mark this benefit off as being fact cheek. Next, we have brain health. Surely some fancy LEDs or lasers can't help with the brain, right? Well, in fact, that's exactly what they do. You see, researchers have found that red light therapy helps with an assortment of brain disorders. This includes things such as Alzheimer, dementia, depression, TBIs, 
ADHD, memory recall, and just all around cognitive function. Now there's just too many studies here to mention. This video will end up being a two hour long presentation, but for a full list of benefits and resources, be sure to check out that blog article I mentioned earlier. And I'll also put a link out to the VLight company. This is a company with a team of very passionate and very knowledgeable researchers who are dedicated to developing red light therapy products to help with the brain. Their results are incredible and their website is chock full of great information. Again, I'll put a link to that website below. Okay, so what else? You've probably seen other benefits around red light therapy, such as improved hormone and function, improved thyroid health, improved mood, improved sleep, improved sports performance, improved recovery, improved eye health, improved oral health, improved fertility and energy levels. The benefits are rather extensive. And well, to be honest, there's actually evidence to show that red light therapy does help with all of those things I just mentioned. In fact, the effects of red light therapy are so strong and so pronounced that some people have even claimed that it should be considered a form of doping when it comes to professional sports. They claim it's such an unfair advantage when it comes to not only performance, but also recovery, that it should be seen as cheating, which is rather crazy given that this is just light. Okay, so I have touched on a lot of benefits, but if you have a medical condition or a health issue that I haven't touched on, and you're curious now if red light therapy is going to help with that? Well, good news. There's literally thousands of studies on red light therapy, and it can be quite overwhelming when you start looking into everything. My team and I do our best to try and sort through these studies and put out the best content we can. So again, subscribe to this channel, check out our website, links are below. But there is a legendary Finnish guy by the name of Vladimir Heiskanen, and he has inputted thousands of these studies into a simple to understand, a simple to read, Excel document. He's broken each study down into various topics and keywords, and then he's color coded the outcome of that study to easily show you whether it was a positive outcome or a negative. So what you can do is go into this database, search for your health condition or keyword, and yet yeah, just simply look at the study colors. If you see a lot of green, chances are red light therapy is going to help. I'll put a link to that document and everything else I've mentioned below. Also, I highly recommend you check out this video. It's a big experiment where I use red light therapy for an extended period of time. I then cut it out completely. I take note of what negative things happen. And then of course I reintroduce it. The outcome of this experiment was quite surprising. And again, you can check it out by clicking here. Otherwise leave any questions below.